Strider. Where's she? You need your sunnies on, mate. Hello. Welcome to Country Filer Facts. <laughs> <laughs> So what, so what you're saying, I know this already? You taught this last week, in the woodland. It's pink. Okay, what colour is it? Pink. Yeah. Pink. Pinky purple? A more basic colour than pink and purple? Is there a more basic colour than pink or purple? Red buff? It could be, it's not, is it? Never, never trust a plant by its name. I'm looking at that saying pink. That's red what? Red campion. That's the one. Red Campion. Right, let's have a good old nosy at this bad boy so I can try and remember it. All right. Just remember the petals. It grows about that high. It looks like, like a pictures. child's drawn it, doesn't it? Yeah. I like that. Lovely little flower. Red Campion. Beautiful. Cheers, Rich. Elderflower. Good in champagne. Oh, yeah. I advise anyone now, at this time of year, maybe a bit too late now, but to get out there, get a bucket, Sterilise it, pick loads of elderberry flowers, bit of lemon juice. It's the perfect time. Yeah. It's the perfect time because it's just flowering now. It's the perfect time. Bit of lemon juice, bit of yeast, bit of sugar, mix it up, stir it up, put it in some bottles. You'll have champagne by July. Really? Yeah. Why are we not doing that? I'm lazy. I've tried it once. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mate. Imagine living there yeah. and having that as your view. Oh, what? giant leaf. <laughs> it's a big old dock. It's a dock leaf, is it? Yeah, you know. It's oh, because of the heart shape, because of the, the bits. Yeah. It might be called fool's rhubarb or monk's rhubarb. Look at this. Something else, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think capturing it on video really sums up just how beautiful this is. Perfect evening as well. There's literally no breeze. It's nice and cool. Sun setting. It is a lovely pink hue yeah. over the grass. Incredible. That's all the little seeds. Ah, oh. oh. God, we're getting old. Where are the days where, like, on a spring evening, yeah? Don't even go there. This is a respectable channel. Respectable. Take the oh. I don't know the words. I don't know. I was just making that up. Oh, I thought it was Take the guy. Leave. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're leaving. That we're never gonna be respectable. There's a net at all. <laughs> Rich, I've had an idea. Let's take 80s backing tracks. Yeah, famous 80s songs, yeah, and then make them into songs about the UK's flora. CBBC, if you're uh, watching, or oh, CITV, you know, either or, we're available right now. We won't scare children. March! Tree? Yep. You know one? Come on, easy one. Yeah. An ash tree. Ash. Quercus rober, fractionus excelsius. Just going to explain a little rhyme. So, when the leaves come out in the spring, old like wives' tale, yeah. but it's pretty much true. The ash before oak, you're in for a soak. Oak before ash, you're in for a splash. If the oak leaves first, yeah. you're in for a little bit of a splash, nothing serious. If the ash goes first, that's it. Summer's over, cancel your plans, make sure you go on a foreign holiday. Pretty much. Brilliant. Oh, good God. <laughs> What's known in the trade as frog spit. A frog spit? Oh, blimey, look at that. So, what is happening here? You see all that? Yeah. It's not actually a frog spitting. 
there's a little teeny insect that's burrowed into the grass there. Right. And once it's in there, it produces this foam, and that's where it um, puts all its young. Ah. What's the insect? Frog spit, spitter frogger. Can't, can't tell you what one it is. I advise you not to pick them, but it's got gills underneath. Yeah. You can tell different mushrooms by the different way they release spores. This one's got gills. Yeah. Like our mean? like our field mushroom that we have at home. Let me eat. This is enough. This could be a little field mushroom, but I'm not confident enough to pick it. But give it a little tap. Now drop all its spores. Huh. But we know that that's just the fruiting body of the mushroom. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. under the ground is the actual plant. Gotcha. The mycelium network of roots having symbiotic relationships with all the trees around. Nice. Very important plant. Well, it's not even a plant, it's a fungus. Yeah, fungus. In the ecosystem. And it's good because what? It, it breaks down? <coughs> it breaks down dead matter, leaves, twigs, grass, <laughs> poop. It breaks it down. If it weren't for that, we'd probably be deep in poo. Oh, okay. But yeah, it breaks it down, recycles the nutrients, makes the nutrients available to plants again, which is a good thing because why? It's the bottom of the ecosystem. Ah, and without it, everything will fall else. apart. Yeah. So. so, stop eating mushrooms, leave them be. No, no, you can eat them. Oh. That's just the fruit in body, remember? Yeah. The Carry on eating mushrooms, it's fine. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. There's a fly in the camera. Right, of all the insects though, flies are like the, they? they are. What do you mean if you could get rid of one rid of insect, of what do you, which one would you get rid of? I would not get rid of any insect. Hmm. Not even the mosquito carry malaria. They all have their purpose. It's us humans that have got in the way. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say, <laughs> I'm getting human. <laughs> hmm. We've made that point. Right. Let's get over it. I would just see that as something on the ground. It looks a bit like fungus, but it's actually sawdust. Sawdust, yeah, look. See? Buy it from a pet shop. Why? Why would you Why would you just dump it in random places? That's uh, orienteering. So someone's laid out an orienteering course around here, and they're the markers that they've got to find. Oh, okay. So they get, they get a map, and then... So that like people, about the countryside. So that's for people with nothing better to do than go wandering around in the evening as the sun sets. Yeah, in the bloody countryside. Losers! Come and have a look at the flowers. Oh, there's one right there. I find it amazing how it grows. But well, there it is. This is what and it teaser, captures the water. Like See how it captures it, the water? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so all in there. It's a teasel. Not and then a you get little ecosystems in there with little insects and stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, plants are more than just a plant. Ping! And then really? they grow up to this. And then florists put them in their flower bunches. Is it called? Teasel. Teasel. Not a thistle. No, it's What's the difference? That one's not spiky. Quite a lot, yeah. Right, right. Different family. Alright, it's nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>